Welcome everybody to episode 27 with Area of Effect Gaming, 7 Days uh, Darkness Falls mod. Um, I We have a dr airdrop, uh, actually two of them. I'm not sure, this one is older I think and then that one just came down. Uh, so we're going to open these and go back to base. But um, yeah, so we got... That was... The numbers looked weird, didn't they? Okay, we'll have to see what it looks like. Okay, they're good. It's probably just because I'm cold. Uh, where's my bike? There it is. So it is Horde Day. Day 49. Uh, I think we've gotten the base to where it is definitely usable. So we are going to try to use it. I've got the automatic turret loaded uh, for the front. Um... I do not have the ones on the roof yet, and I don't think we really have time to make it, but I'm going to try. Double check and make sure nothing's in here. Good. Alright. Alright, so those doors will automatically close when it hits nighttime, so I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, let's get over here and unload. Yep, since we are a little cold, we'll wear that. Alright, so that turret's up. Let me see if I've got enough to make an, another coil turret. That is not how I spell turret. Here we go. Coil shotgun turret. I need coil gun parts barrel receiver. Oh, I'm out of oil. Oh, darn. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, don't have any other oil on me. Uh, I don't think I can make it yet. I need to be like a master mechanic or something to get that. Yeah, it's just oil. There we go. Uh, yep, need grease monkey. That that may be our next next objective uh, is to get get that. Oh wow, we got six points. I didn't realize we uh, we had six points. I'm gonna take a minute and figure out what we're gonna get. And we'll go ahead and spend those before Horde Night. I'll be right back. Alright, so I took three points in shotgun here. And pretty much as soon as we get our first point from the Horde, we got to go back in here and get this next one because that increases the range. Uh, so we're definitely going to need that. And then where did I put the other points? I, I totally forgot to come back on camera. Oh yeah, I put them in Boomstick. Uh, so we just took four points in... Three points in Boomstick and then three points... And shotguns over there. All right, and the get off my land, the, the shotgun perp in the farming tree. So we have points uh, points spent. We need to uh, flush everything out so we're ready for the horde. We need to eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> so we're just kind of kind of going to shove down anything we have extra of right here to get it in our belly. See which one of these is a good wellness. I think I've got them by wellness. Yeah, these should be one. And that's five wellness. I think I'm good on wellness though. I think I'm maxed out. Yeah, I must be maxed. No, it's still going up. So nine. Maybe I'm not maxed out. Let's try drinking a beer. If I go up much higher, then I'm definitely not maxed out yet. Okay, yeah, I'm maxed out. Alright, so I just need to drink. Alright. 
I'll put those jars back. I think I've got a bowl to put back. There we go. All right, so we're get, we're not gonna need our building stuff, so I can put that back. I might need our repair, so we'll bring that out. Probably won't need that, but I'll leave it on me. Um, I will probably need those. I'm gonna get, I'll put a stack of water on me just in case. Do I have any small food items that I have multiple of? Not really. It's like, like big carrots. Do a couple of those maybe. And then do some baked apple. That way I just have something in my belly. Or I can keep popping it. But I still need to finish eating. So we'll do a pumpkin bread. Oh, yeah, that popped my wellness up. See, I have a, a blue and a green. Because that was five, right? Yeah, so... What did I have? I didn't do... Yeah, because... That's weird. So the pumpkin bread is blue. I thought it was purple. Because there should be three stages. It should be green, blue, purple. Twos are green. Threes and fours are blue. And five should be purple. But, hmm. That's weird. It's not ex unexpected, but... Alright, food and stuff are maxed out. Let me put those carrots on me, just so I have stuff to nibble on during Fortnite. I'll just leave those in there for now. Um, I can drop the rest of my inventory off. Okay, I do have a blank glass paper. That might become handy tomorrow. Um, oh yeah, was I actually going to do mechanic? What do I have? Hunter I still have. A pet laborer. Mechanic's not done. I've got scientist. I've got security. Don't have survivalist, but I don't think that's necessary. Yeah, I think I was planning on going for mechanic, so let's go ahead and turn that into a mechanic book. Nope, I want to read it. Alright, so after Ordnate, we'll have to go get all that stuff. Uh, actually, you know what? I could probably try to get it right now. Two plant fibers. Oh, I got plenty of wood. Um, gather stone axe, gather sharp rock. All right, now I need axe. Okay, gather iron. Lead battery, engine, headlight. Lead battery, engine. Um, you know it's funny? Okay, headlights are probably in building? No. Where did I put headlights? Is that crafting? Yes. That's, you know what, I want to move those. Those should really be in the vehicle box. All right, forged iron. I'm keeping an eye on the time. I'm not going to get screwed by forgetting. <laughs> Duct tape, polymer, springs. Duct tape, polymer, and springs. Okay. 
Open that. There we go. And was that all the missions already? Yeah, it was. Okay. So now we can put points into a robotics inventor or we've already got grease monkey. Wonder how we got that locked up. I think that I think we read the books to do that. battery engine so I need to be able to craft oil so the question is rewards. Hmm. I'm wondering which one <laughs> allows me to do oil unless I missed it I mean that says unlocked oil pump but not oil let me let me check oil again see if it's unlocked now maybe Yep, it's unlocked now. So I need oil shale and empty jar. That one's always a pain in the butt to find, so I'm gonna mark it as a favorite. Um, yeah, I'll put some stuff in there. Go favorites. Perfect. Do I'll just mix a hundred of it. That's perfect. All right. So that'll be making what we're doing the horde. All right. So we are almost ready. Uh, Got to get into position. I think we've got enough. Uh, you know what? We need to refill and fuel real quick, just in case. All right, everybody. The horde will be upon us in a second. All right, we'll skip forward just a little bit. Horde is here, and here they come. All right, I'm going to do what we usually do and speed laps.
All right, we got through the horde. We just got to finish up the last few. It looks like I lost my turret. Just trying to hopefully find a better way to protect it, but it's kind of hard. Shit. That just broke the horde base because it demolished on cobblestone. Oh god, they're down there digging. That's not good. Alright, yep, yeah, we're going to go up to around here and see what they're doing. Oh, they, they dug so low because of the blast. That's why. Oh dear lord. So the blast got it too low. And then they couldn't uh, climb their way out. That's not what I wanted. Now I gotta recount all the blocks. Damn it, I was hoping that one would stay. I think that's everybody? Oh yeah, there's still a path there, so... They theoretically could have gotten in. Okay, I think that was the last one. I just got this football player running around I gotta get. Seriously? There's the wandering horde over there? You've got to be kidding me. Uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> was not expecting to have to reload. There he is. Okay, God, I think nope. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I'm glad my shotgun was in range. Oh, that could have been bad. Friggin' screamer. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Let's switch to our goggles before this stuff starts despawning. Oh, it's daytime. My doors just opened. All right, well, that was a good horde. Good horde, definitely. Um, definitely got to find a better way to get my turrets in the battle. I think maybe from the sides instead of the center. That way they're less of a target for spit. I don't know. I'm thinking that's the best way to do it. All right, I'm going to speed run all this.
All right. So that is all the loot that I could find. I don't think there's probably not any around the back. Uh, so we've definitely got some things to work on. Uh, we have to finish building out this section uh, and harden it. But I, you know, all in all, I think the base did good. I definitely, like I said, got to figure out a new way to do the turrets, probably like in the corner facing this way um, and do two of them. Cause I think they were really effective at keeping them down and killing a lot of them. Um, crap, I fell in. Uh, come on. There we go. Um, other than that, yeah, Horde did good. Um, the rest of it, um, you know, it's just pretty in it up. Finished digging all the way down. You know, that's off-camera night work. Stuff that um, you guys don't necessarily need to see. Um, but yeah, I think, um, I think we did good, for sure. Um, we'll have to go look and see what our haul was. Uh, let's take a good look. Ooh, Eric's Hammer. Nice. That's a fairly good level, Eric's Hammer, too. Um, but yeah, no, that's nice. So other than that, uh, yeah, we got some ammo. Nothing really notable. Yeah, not a whole lot of schematics. That's what I really needed was schematics. Um, but we did get three treasures out of it. So hopefully that'll do, that'll give us something. Yeah. So that's it. Not a, not a bad, not a bad horde loot, but definitely not good. That Eric's hammer is definitely a plus though. I'm probably not going to use it. I'll have to play with it and see, but that is definitely not likely. Oh, why did those not go up? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a full base check because I am not sure what these were. They sh they sh they shouldn't be from anything, but all of a sudden they appear during Horde Night, so I'm not sure what they are. The doors held up good. The birds were coming in here, and they they eventually flew in through there. I have to go out and see. Yeah. Uh, no, I kept the camera. So the camera got protected. Um, interesting. I might try doing a, like a piece I did like that down here. And just have it aim out here. That way I can use it. Yeah, I might do that. All right. We are going to unload and then... We're going to figure out what we're going to do for the day, and I will be back. All right, everybody. We have uh, decided what we were going to do. We went ahead and did it. Um, I basically punched two holes right here and right over there. Uh, with a, I think it's a wedge 60 bottom pointed out. Basically, I'm going to have the thing sitting here and pointing out there. And hopefully it's you know not in the direct line of fire, so those turrets should hopefully be safe. And then I just put a hatch here uh, so that I can link that sensor up. Since it seems to be out of the line of fire, um, it can still act as my targeting mechanism or my activating mechanism. Uh, as far as the rest of the base, uh, I figured out what was going on with the gates. Um, this had gotten destroyed. So I replaced that and rewired them up and they're good to go. Um, there are, I'm not sure why the two steels here showed up. There was nothing over here for them to destroy. So I don't know. Oh, you know what? No, I take that back. I had two lights. So the lights got destroyed. I remember I had two light bulbs. Um, so yeah, those got destroyed, I guess. So I will have to figure out another lighting solution, maybe a little farther over out of the line of sight. But uh, let me show you what I did to the base. Um, I steeled this up and pretty much did a whole bunch of work down there. I rebuilt all the stuff that got destroyed down there. Um, so yeah, and then I got the stairs built because I had to pretty much level this out and then I could start the stairs going up. I, I decided I wasn't going to leave this open. Um, it was a lot of extra digging and work, so I figured I'd just leave it up to five and then leave an open platform here we'll see if it works hopefully if they fall then they try to come over here and back up and out 
So I only wanted them to drop 10 if they were in this area, which is perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, so I went steel or improved steel for, you know, pretty much like two tiles out from the drop zone. Um, and then I went to steel and then concrete. So based on the damage I saw, that seemed to be a very good radius. So I got this side done. I filled all the lower blocks. The blocks below this immediate level are all reinforced steel. And then below that, I just filled it with concrete. Um, and then I still got to do this part of the wall, but, and then I got to dig that stuff out. But again, that's, that's off camera work, but I wanted to show you what we did because there's not a whole lot of time left in this video. Um, I did want to get that done, show you what I was doing. And you see that's where the turrets will be from this point of view. So there's that. Now I had not actually, oh, I shocked myself, gone up to the ceiling and see if there's any damage from the bird. So we're going to do that right now. We'll do that here. There's a little bit of damage, probably from spit. I wouldn't say it would be from birds. Oh, you know, there's some bird damage up here. For sure. Not much. But I think that by the end, the birds had found a way in, so... Um, but that that's good that they're attacking in this general area, because that was my... That was my theory. So... Yeah, I don't... See, okay, there is some damage near the hatch, which I kind of expected. Um, so if we concentrate our turrets maybe put one or two on this and then two or three on on this center point here will be fine but good i'm glad everything worked and my theory for that panned out bridge is still intact so all right so i think what we decided to do um is i want to uh i want to retry eve's mission today so um, uh, we're going to do it on day 52. So I'm going to take the night to myself, um, kind of stock up, work up a plan and get out there. And then first thing, day 52 is where we're going to pick up the next episode. And we're going to retry the the base, uh, the, the underground bunker for Eve. So um, I wanted to thank everybody for being here today to watch this video. Uh, hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. If you liked what you saw, please click the subscribe button on the screen. And hit that notification bell if you want to see more content when I post it. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.